guys, welcome to Ghana's Lovers TV. The inquest on uh, what happened against Aston Villa is still going on, and uh, three people have spoken. Gary Neville feels that um, Gabriel Jesus let the team down. He was not prolific throughout the match. He was very, very blunt and uh, singled him out as his own uh, contribution to the inquest. And uh, this is because Jesus has not been playing regularly. And we don't know why Teta chose him to face uh, Aston Villa. Also, David Seaman has criticized uh, Zijenko, who we have mentioned in our previous videos for putting everybody on the edge. So this is what we have been mentioning in our previous video, other people confirming it, that um, Zijenko put everybody on the edge. He doesn't know how to defend properly, he's not a proper defender. We have keyword, that's why we bought keyword to address those kind of concerns. But Ateta chose not to use keyword. And uh, Ian Wright too has also come into the matter and said that um, Gabriel Martinelli switched off throughout the match, especially for the goal. He switched off and uh, because of that the goal happened. Aston Villa had a good, uh, good uh, outing in our own ground. Remember I mentioned uh, the fact that our players were very tired, lethargic, when I saw them come into the field. Uh, Watkins has confirmed that assertion that I made. He said that we played very, very well first half. In fact, if we are taking our chances, we would have won the game. But um, second half, they observed that when we came out, when Arsenal players came out, they were very tired. So that's why I had two halves. One for Arsenal, one for Aston Villa. And those goals came in the later part of the match, 84, 87, where boys were just very, very, very weak. So this is how it happened in the last... Uh, match. But Ateta came out to disagree with Watkins and said that was not the reason why he scored against us. Well, it is glaring to know what happened on that day. One of the evidence of that is the fact that um, the Emery fans started leaving once the second goal entered. Because it was just minutes or two to three minutes to end the game. You don't see Arsenal players coming back from 2 0 down to winning the match. So they left. And then people started criticizing should they have left? Should they have stayed? Well, who has time to watch a, a team that is unproductive? But overall, this season or this year, They've played about 10 games and uh, we've won nine and drawn one. And so this one, I think, is the one loss we have had this year. So it's not a bad result overall for our, play, for our team, as now. But the issue is there's something at stake, which is the Premier League title, which they have not won for a very long time. Well, let's see how they respond again to playing by Munich away. This time around, it's going to be a way. So we'll see how they are going to respond. The match is tomorrow. We are now approaching Nobody is confident of a way at the moment. But, uh, the some people are confident. I won't say nobody. But I am not. I will be honest with you, confident of a win. But I will take a win when we get it. Like, share, and subscribe. You don't know what happens. This is going to snow us TV. I'm your host, Augustine. Remember, Jesus Christ loves you. I'm going to see you in the next